What is VGS? Think of VGS as a secure layer between your systems and the sensitive data. Normally, you have a website or an app that collects sensitive information. You send it to your server, store it in your database, and then you send it to an API. So that might be Stripe's API, WorldPay's API, Checker's API, whichever third-party API you can send it to. Now this brings you into scope, which requires you to go through some compliance hoops, which might take three months to even a year. This is where VGS comes in. Think of VGS as this layer that takes that sensitive information, let's pretend it's a credit card, views our JavaScript, our VGS Collect JavaScript, or our VGS SDKs for Android and iOS, will take that sensitive information and on the inbound within to your VGS vault will alias that sensitive information. So when it hits your server and you store it in your database, there is no sensitive data on your systems. When you turn around and send the payload to that third party, you'll go through VGS again and will rehydrate that sensitive data so it replaces the aliases with the actual sensitive data. If the third party API sends back sensitive data on response, we can also alias that information. So once again, as it comes back through your vault, the actual response that comes back, if there's any sensitive data, is also aliased. And you can store that back in your database. And as you can see below in the, the, the bottom example, the social security number, customer enters it in, we alias the payload, you store it on your server, in your database, uh, turn around, send it to the third party, in this case it's Checker. Checker gets the actual social security number and then sends that back. If there's any sensitive data, we'll alias that information so no sensitive data touches your systems. Now you might ask, how does this actually work in terms of implementing it? Well, let me show you how these inbounds and outbounds are actually set up. So in the next couple of videos, we're going to go to your dashboard and you'll see that sequence diagram is basically this whole aspect of going, of collecting the information, sending it to your server, and then revealing it to a third party. And the inbound and outbounds, you can manually set them up, but what we're going to do in the next couple of videos is go through a wizard to help you set up those inbound routes and outbound routes to get started. I'll see you in the next couple of videos.